Well, we can put away the shorts and t-shirts. Woodstock Willie says we'll be dealing with six more weeks of winter, but that's not stopping the northwest suburb from enjoying its annual Groundhog Day celebration. CBS 2's Jackie Kostek has been in Woodstock all morning long, right in the midst of all the fun and the movie nostalgia. Watch that first step. It's a doozy. <laughs> Yeah, good morning, Ryan and Audrina. The eyes of the nation once a year turn to this tiny hamlet of a town 51 miles outside of Chicago to watch a master at work. The master, Woodstock Willie, the world's most famous weatherman. I'm here with Danny Rubin, the man who wrote most of those words, right? The ones that Bill Murray delivered in the movie. I've been working on that all morning. How did I do? It was perfect. Uh, other than the beginning. I actually did scrub the beginning a little bit. But Danny, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, talk about coming up with the idea for this film because it's it's just so creative and something you would never think of but you thought of it with a recurring day yeah i don't know how i came up with the recurring day idea other than i was brainstorming to be as clever as possible to <laughs> yes. come up with movie ideas i didn't write that one for a couple of years but then i was thinking about another movie idea about someone <laughs> living forever and how would that change them and i thought forever is a tedious amount of time yeah. <laughs> for a movie for an hour and a half film so i I realized I could have eternity all on the same day, put the two ideas together, and then it became a story of a young man's journey through life all on the same day. It's so, so special. It lives on in our hearts, and it lives on in such a real way in this town. What is it like for you to come to Woodstock and see that, you know, this is not just a classic film. It is something that is, like, living and existing within this town. It's a grin. It's just <laughs> a grin. It's just a delight. I mean, you're walking around inside the movie. Yes, you and, are. Yes. In the dance scene right here in the Moose Lodge. That's right. Yeah. Um, what is the most special part of this for you? I mean, is there like a scene that is in particular where you just think like, gosh, Bill Murray and Andy McDowell really brought that to life in such a way that you couldn't even have imagined? Well, any movie that works makes you feel that way, and this for sure worked. Um, I, I think the first idea I had when I was brainstorming how this movie would work was the pickup scene oh. with the two of them and that sequence. And as soon as I thought of that, I was, I was thinking, I, I, there's a movie here. There's yes. definitely a movie here. And so when I saw how well they, they pulled it off, I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that has to just be, oh gosh, the best feeling. Um, Danny, thank you so much for not only writing the screenplay that turned into this classic movie, but for joining us this morning. And thank you for asking me. Absolutely. Uh, Ryan and Audrina, this has been such a fun morning. Woodstock Willie did not give us the news that we wanted with six more weeks of winter. But honestly, this town just feels like a warm blanket, so we're okay with it. Yep, Groundhog Day, the movie, just the gift that keeps on giving because every year after year after year, here we are <laughs> celebrating the great movie <laughs> and Groundhog Day exactly. and our guy Woodstock Willie. Great job out there, Jackie.